Hi. So filming last time in the captain's chair did not work out. The lighting was potato quality. So I came back to my wonderful desk and well, that's the best place I think so far. Well today I'd like to talk to you about A Chinese Life by Lee Kun Wu and The Virgin Cure by Amy McKay or Amy McKay. I didn't look it up before I started the video, sorry. So let's start with the Virgin Cure by Amy Mackay. I forgot the title for a second. I was just holding it up like, Rrr. Anyways, so this is about a girl named Moth. She's 12 years old and lives in downtown or lower Manhattan, 1871 in Victorian New York. So Moth fantasizes a lot about living in a mansion with all the fineries of life. Her mom is a mystic, so they never have much. They make little money and they have to sell off possessions. She plans to run away and to achieve this glorious life that she wants, but before she gets a chance to, her mom sells her into servitude to a wealthier home. Being sold to be a servant wasn't an uncommon situation for young girls at the time. You didn't have a lot of options as a young girl for work. You were either, you know, you sold flowers or corn, you begged, you were a prostitute or a servant. I mean, pick one. Moth has to really struggle in this book to achieve what she wants and she has to ask herself will she really do anything to get there. The synopsis on the inside of the cover I think gives away too much so I tried to stay away from discussing everything it mentions. One thing I will say is in reference to the title. The Virgin Cure was a myth. Um, I think it's even still practiced in different parts of the world. It's a myth that states that um, men with STDs can be cured by having sex with a virgin. So as you can imagine, this book does deal with uncomfortable topics such as rape and prostitution. So I understand that's not for everyone. And if that bothers you, I would not recommend reading this. With that said, the author is a great storyteller and really brings to life Victorian New York in all its splendor and grime. It's not a slow book. It has quite a fast developing plot. One thing I just loved about this book is it has this kind of scrapbook feel. Along with the prose, there is um, samples of poetry, there are illustrations even, and fictional uh, newspaper articles that relate to the story. This book is filled with uh, plush and muddy settings, and if that appeals to you, I would recommend you pick this up. Next up, I have A Chinese Life by Li Kun Wu. This is a graphic novel memoir of um, Lee's life in the 1950s and 60s up to the present. This is a very personal account of the Great Leap Forward and the Cultural Revolution in China, as well as the rise of China as an economic power. The Chinese Cultural Revolution has always been of interest to me, but I've only read accounts of it through, um, through the eyes of Chinese Americans or Canadians. Never have I encountered something like this before. It's very diverse. Li Kun Wu is a member of the Communist Party and has served them as a propaganda comic artist for a very long time. A big difference in this book between his, his perspective and others I've read is he's not critical of Chairman Mao. The Cultural Revolution had its mistakes in his eyes, but it wasn't entirely imperfect. His perspective is so different from our Western one, and that's what I really liked about this memoir, is it was really gripping and new to me. Like, even if you can't agree with him, there's so much to be appreciated here. I really wish I could do this book more justice by describing it better. Lee's artwork is really breathtaking. It encompasses so many different styles. There's really raw edges in some parts, and then he plays with kind of the more... I can't, let's see if I can show you, the more like flourished kind of style, sorry, the more flourished kind of style of the older Chinese art. The best thing you can do is pick this up for yourself and just, sorry, just look at these lines, like they're gorgeous. It's really impressive. Anyways, um, that was The Virgin Cure and Chinese Life. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.